Our electronics room is almost ready. I wanted to share it with you once it is completely finished and 100% ready. But uh, this is very difficult and I want to speed up making the videos because there are so many things going in parallel and um, with this pace I'm never going to share everything. So let's take a look inside and I will show you what we have now. A few months ago we started with the renovation of our electronics lab. The main reason to start this process was that it was by far the worst looking room from all our rooms what we use at the castle and uh, we, want, we wanted to make it nice. So we removed all the stuff, painted the walls and everything and started to moving the furniture and building the equipment here. Uh, one of the most important tasks for this renovation was to make good organization of all the parts, all the project components and other stuff because we were constantly searching for the parts and we didn't know where to search for them. We were losing a lot of time with just searching for the components. So all the parts and all the components have their own boxes, the boxes have their own 
place in the shelves behind me and we know where to search for them so now if you need a resistor or transistor you know where to go for it and uh, when you finish your work you know where to place them now it takes just few minutes you know exactly where the parts belongs to so you take the part put it in the box and it's it's done it's perfect Now it's more organized, it's still not the Japanese style, but uh, it's much better than it was a year or two ago, or seven years ago. And uh, we will, we need to develop this system further, so we will work on this. So, all the work is organized at Benchy, so I wanted to uh, make the layout of the room as efficient as possible so that we don't have like empty place and we can use all the, all the place of the room. So we have here eight benches. So each bench have a rack behind with shelf. All the tools you can place into the shelves so you keep as much space of the working table for your actual work and not for the tools uh, we have electricity built into the into the shelves like you can see here the outlets i wanted to avoid using extension cords because if you use let's say 10 or 15 electric devices you need to start using extension cords very soon so instead uh, we have inbuilt electrical outlets it's not very well organized, we still have some 
room for making it better, but it's already working fine. One of the things which are built in the shelves as well is the lighting. So you don't need to struggle with lights uh, on your table. So I'll show you. Turn it on and you have plenty of the light immediately at the table. As I mentioned, all the parts have their own boxes. So we have here, if you need connectors, you know where to go. If you need fuses, you have one box with million types of fuses, transistors. We have here a, a box with a modular display. This will be a display for driving one single tube and you will be able to, I will show you in just a second. So this will, this will be the modular display. Uh, each tube will have its own socket with shift registers. This is some like dirty, ugly prototype, but the idea is to, to the idea is to put the sockets together like this, and it will be possible to drive a lot of tubes. If you need two, you will put two together. If you need fifty, you will put fifty together. So. That's the point. So if you need to use for some, let's say for some projects, you need to use several power supplies, computer, scope. Uh, here we are using a GPS unit. So you can take all the cables into the outlets which are here so you, you have enough electrical outlets for all the equipment equipment what you need to keep the space free of dust we use a robotic vacuum cleaner so we had to take care that there are as less obstacles as possible so all these lower shelves are built like 10 centimeters above ground, the same with tables, so that the vacuum cleaner can go under the furniture and remove all the dust. And it works pretty well. I'm surprised how much dust it can collect and it really keeps the room free of the dust. So this is really, really good. The places on the other side are more flexible. We use them for projects which are currently in the pipeline. So for example, this one, this one is probably the most interesting at the moment. It's a high speed display. It will run really fast. It will be used for calibration of high speed cameras. So customer will use this display to tell whether his High speed cameras like 10,000 frames per second are running at the correct speed. This display will run with 100 kilohertz frequency. So it will take time signal from IRIC B time source. So this will be a server which will be located at the customer's facility. And we will translate this signal into the display. So there will be 14 tubes. So finally, the most important part, the subseconds, we will have tubes which will increment with 0.1 second period, 0.01 second period, and finally with 10 microseconds. So the last digit will run with 100 kilohertz frequency. It's very fast, and maybe you're asking whether Nixie tube can run so fast. Yes, it can, we tried and it's, it was a very interesting thing and I want to make it as a separate video. Okay, so this is just a prototype, it's ugly, it will, in the end, it will not be red, it will be all black. This will be black made surface with, with uh, engravings filled with white lacquer, but it will not be only nice, it will be functional, it will be highly functional, this is the main point of, of this display. 
So it's very, this is a very exciting project because we are constantly at the edge of our capability, like at the edge of our limits, uh, what we are able to do as for the electronics, as for the uh, capability of the Nixie tubes itself. So this is very, very interesting thing. And it's the first project where we use the Nixie tubes, not because they are nice, but because they actually have some small advantage over the modern display technology. So this is this is very unique for me personally. Not so much maybe interesting for you, but for me it's really a reason to build this project.